Ah, she'll have something to say, no doubt. Not such an easy job, is it? Oh. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Well, they're just going to have to like You're it. You're out! Like... What happened to my food? <laughs> There's none left. <laughs> Oh, you keep God. treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Uh... You're one to talk, old man. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Oh, dear. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Yes, ma'am. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> oh my god! Problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get <laughs> us all killed! <laughs> Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. What? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. You're lying. It's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. If you just die, and that's all it takes, and shit, one fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God... Uh-oh. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I sound happy about you. it. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course. Uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. 
This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Are you serious? What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, well, that's gonna lure us in. Any talk Wait, of food? Why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll uh, go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Well, sounds like a good plan to me. Potentially food there, improve security. What's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> Famous last words, I think. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Well, isn't Thanks that for nice. coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Mm. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Ugh, I shouldn't have turned down that food you offered me earlier. <laughs> that is one runaway train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh... I don't like these two, uh, poking around. I mean, Motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? We've actually made it pretty secure. I like that alarm system you made. That's pretty smart. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that Motor Inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh, democracy? Is it really democracy? Phew. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Mm. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. Sounds like they're trying to we really need it. Well, to here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Some well, fishy been running the dairy Some for fishy about these as two. long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. Some no fishy one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it all for yourself! What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! oh! Fuck you! Oh! Fuck you! Oh, shit! I think he's angry. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. I think he stole his crackers and cheese. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Wow. What the picturesque place. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. 
They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, do we have any? Uh, work together, that's right. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy cow. Holy moly! <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Uh, oh! Don't choke yourself, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> Can't grief. get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? This just seems too good to be true. Why don't I head true? back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Something just Mark Lee. Not quite why right. don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This you place betcha. is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? You need to be careful. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Exactly. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Right, a bit of digging. As I say, can't put my finger on it, but something is not quite right about this place and that family. But I'm sure we'll find out in due course if my suspicions are correct. Please don't tell me, for God's sake, in any comments. <laughs> Please don't give the game away. Anyhow, I think we have reached the end of the session for today, so join me next time and we shall... Uh, Walk the perimeter fence and check out this dairy farm and see if it is all as it appears to be uh, cracked up to be. So join me next time. See you soon.